on 1116 SEN, the Peter Jackson VFL Show with Mark Stone. Thanks to South Pacific Health Club, Jack of Boulevard, St Kilda, and Book Talk, 91 Swan Street, Richmond, food for body and mind. It has been a cracking VFL season that has gone right down to the wire. Just have a look at that Footscray Richmond game to end the home and away season with that brilliant after the siren goal by the doggies. The finals look absolutely in in the offing to be perfectly matched. This first week of the finals, well, I'll explain why and Stoney will in a moment. You know, Porter tear away on top, but they play Box Hill Hawks, if you don't mind, who were brilliant last week. And other games look just really evenly matched as I welcome Stoney back to 11-16 SEN. The Sea Bars and Pacific Health Club in St Kilda, with the weather warming up, is now the most wonderful place to go and get fit. It's got those sea bars. It's where a lot of AFL footballers do their recovery. And body and mind are both looked after when you go to Book Talk because you eat well and you can read well. How, Stoney? That's right here in Swan Street. Yeah, you're right, Finey. 91 Swan Street for Book Talk Cafe. I was talking to Michael, uh, Finey, from the St Kilda Sea Bars, who rang me about 10 minutes ago and said, tell the listeners it's open weekend this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 9am to 4pm. The gymnasium has been renovated. $2 $2 million dollar upgrade in the renovation. Uh, we've got face painting for the kids. Get along. They, su- they support and sponsor Port Melbourne Football Club. Open day, 9 to 4, Saturday and Sunday. Free of charge to have a look at the gym. Uh, and if you join on 8534-8805, 8534-8805, you'll get two weeks extra on your membership at the end, Fonny. So get along to the sea bars this weekend. That, it's, go down there. You will be jaw-droppingly impressed. Werribee is a team that you know only too well, Stoney. Yes, I do. Ship jumper. Um, they, no. Nah. Right, it's okay, it's all right. Everybody I, says that to me. Highly, right. res- highly yeah. respected in two camps. But the Werribee Tigers, let's ask the captain. It's been a season, they can make it all right in the finals, that has started slipping away when it looked really promising early. Jared Moore is the captain of the Tigers. He joins us tonight and Jared... It needs a bit of a turnaround because the last month hasn't been perfect. No, it certainly hasn't been. Um, I suppose we were looking at looking all right about a month ago, but yeah, uh, yeah three three losses in the trot wasn't great, and we found ourselves in a position where we had to win against Frankston down at Frankston, so it um, wasn't great. But we had a good win on the weekend, and hopefully that's going to turn us around. Jared Stoney, mate, welcome to the program. Now, you've come from a great uh, organisation, the Sydney Swans. Obviously, you're, you're working with North Melbourne in the development role. Um, it's your time now, uh, your time to lead the side onto the ground in the final against North Ballarat. What are you going to bring to the table this week, Jared? And what have you said to the players about this, the importance of this week's game? Um, well, we've still got, uh, still got our main session to come tomorrow, so I'll probably speak to them then. But no, it's just a, it's just a different game, finals, and you've got to bring a, a better intensity. And um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be hot early, especially... Uh, Against uh, North Ballarat, who uh, we know uh, we've got some teammates playing for the opposition basically this week. But no, it's just um, just something that we've got to really come out and do the basics well and basically attack the ball really hard from the start. And that's what I'll be telling the boys. What a brilliant dynamic you've touched on there, Jared, with North Melbourne partially aligned to Werribee and North Ballarat and North Melbourne into the finals and maybe a couple of spots up for grab. Nothing's written in stone. People might think, well, what happens when two North teammates are bearing down on each other going for the same ball? They don't need to worry. <laughs> North Ballarat under Fitzy are North Ballarat to, the, to their bootstraps and ferocious. And I have never seen a Werribee player. I watched them carefully. Staney, of course, formally aligned. I haven't seen any of their players play any differently. I reckon almost the opposite. They'll be knocking each other out. Yeah. I tend to agree too because um, we've seen in the North Melbourne seniors at the moment with a couple of guys back and a couple of blokes uh, not playing this week. It's going to be really tough for spots and um, yeah, the boys are basically going to be out there trying to trying to get a spot to come finals and um, also they're going to they could potentially be playing for for a spot on the, in the list next year. So. There's a, there's a lot to play for, plus from the fact that it is a final. Everyone loves playing finals too. 
Jared, how's it been this week at training? I, I would would have been like to have been a fly in the wall when uh, obviously you've got your North Melbourne contingent with uh, the ones from Werribee and ones from uh, North Barrett. How's it been on the track? Has it been a bit of, bit of verbal going on? Yeah, it's been pretty funny, actually. Uh, started with a big man, Eric Wallace. He's been probably number one on the radar <laughs> for the banter, but he reckons he's going to lay a few blokes out. But we'll, we'll see how he goes this week. No, nah, it's, um, it's been interesting. The boys have had to... A pretty serious week with trying to get the seniors up um, for this week as well. So the main session on Wednesday was was as normal for for them, but a lot of the banter around around the club lifted up, and we're going to train separately um, tomorrow as well. I think when you look at these two teams, if 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 you were pressed to say, is there an X factor in either of those sides that could bust it open? We go to the blondie Benny Warren. Uh, that would be the player I think that North Ballarat if not most fearful of would be not would understand could cause them could cause them and we've just lost um, Jared but we'll get him back am I right in saying that he remains the sort of the, the, the unknown quantity that can win a, gra- a game even a final there's no doubt about finally that uh, Benny Warren has got X Factor um, he can play any position I've seen him play in, on forward line uh, in a midfield role um, he has got. He does some things which are you think to yourself. He takes a big mark, kicks a goal. He's a, certainly a, a really good player. Jared, we're talking about Ben Warren. Um, yeah, I think he's actually a pretty consistent footballer. But there are times when he goes from consistent to brilliant, and that that's going to be a concern for North Ballarat and something that you guys could tap into. Yeah, he's uh, he's one of our most experienced, and he's one of our leaders. So we'll be looking for a big game for him. And, he was a bit of a thug a few weeks ago and got a, got a week break, so he's going to be going in there fresh, which um, I think is probably going to be a good thing for Benny. So hopefully, I mean, he can have a really good final series for us. Jared, with um, with the footy to VFL, how have you found the VFL competition you played? This is your second year now after obviously deciding to play at Werribee. How have you found this year compared to last year? Uh, it's a good question. It's it's pretty even. It's a very even comp. That sort of. I'll say so. You really don't know. Like Geelong last year, I thought they were the standouts, and they go through and, and not make the final this year. And that just shows how how silly the competition is, really. Like how close it is, and um, uh, the Box Hill Hawks they're going all right again this year after after a really good last year. But I mean, you've seen the rise of the Dogs this year and um, Newside and Willie as well. It's it's an interesting competition, and, t- and it's hard to put a finger on. I reckon. Now, where would be to Port Melbourne? It's not that far. Does the team bus get a run, and do the, the boys get back in and build up, build up for the game in uh, what has been the best of environments? The mighty Werribee team bus. <laughs> I'm not sure with that. That was mainly, uh, mainly all the, the Geelong blokes. So I, I think they'll be doing that again this week. And I know they enjoyed it last week down to down to Frankston. They had a nice, nice <laughs> long one, but they left the day before. So. I don't um, be- a yeah. day before to go to Franks, they do know that Frankston hasn't been a holiday resort, a day trip since 1880. Well, they stayed down at the, <laughs> I think it was the resort, they're calling it the resort down there, but no, that, yeah, that just saved a couple hour bus trip for them on the day of the game, so I thought it was a pretty smart move. But It's good fun well, though, it's good for the boys. Yeah, yeah the boys love it, they really, they can, they've got some, always got some good stories that come out of the bus and... Jai Bolton's probably the leading one there and telling the stories about his old Collingwood days and everything. <laughs> Jared, just with finals footy, have you played in many finals uh, in your time in your football along the journey? Yeah, I've managed to play in a few, won a, won a few and lost a few. So, yeah, so I hope and, um, it's, it's a really good experience to be honest, finals, and you've really got to bring another level that you, have, that, you haven't, or that you have been doing during the year, but it goes up another level. So it's a really good time, and I reckon... I really like it because you test yourself against the best, basically. And oh, yeah, I just love finals footy. And one last cheeky question: the VFL show. I've never done this on the VFL show, Jared, but <laughs> Tiger supporters are desperate, hoping that maybe Sydney might just take it easy in this game against Richmond. Now you've been, you were there long enough to know how that how that mighty club thinks. Is there any chance that Sydney will lay down and the Tigers will get a soft one up at the ANZ Stadium? Oh, look, there's a chance, but I can't imagine the big horse saying before the game, fellas, just take it easy. Wait for wait for next week's finals. No, I think you'll be they'll be coming out to to play well. And again, like 
like what we've been speaking about already, there's, there's probably guys fighting for spots and um, I'm sure those guys around the edges would, would want to be playing well or at least close to their best anyway. Well, in the, in, in the game that Werribee's got, I, I believe that these finals open up all over the place. We know that at AFL level, it's very hard to win week two if you're in the bottom half of the eight, but this is very different. It's about your boys recapturing their best form, which has been proven to be good enough. So it's it's not only there to play for, it could parlay into something quite good for your club. Jared, all the best. Thanks for joining us tonight. And I'd say the same to North Ballarat. This one's worth winning because you might just go a whole lot further. Thanks, fellas. Good on you. Jared Moore, Werribee captain. We're going to take a break. Sandringham, these games are perfect. I love that Werribee are playing North with the North Melbourne issue. Yep. Port Melbourne have been great. They are playing Box Hill. Box Hill... Last week. You said you seen that game last yeah, week. Yeah, I watched the game. But beyond that, I mean, this is a side that just, with some close losses and whatever, were not finding their premiership form. I've got a feeling they might have found it. Mm. With Hawthorne, you know, spots up for grabs there. Everybody back but Rioli. Whoa, what a tough game for Port. Big game. I think Box Hill might start favourite almost. It'll be a good game because they like the land of the Giants, um, Box Hill, a big side. And then the footy gods go, you know what? You want to go your, you want to go your separate ways, William Sandon and Footscray? <laughs> come together. Come back together for the finals. At, at, at Witt Noble. At Witt Noble. Bit of bad blood we heard at the end. Didn't like this coach, didn't like that coach, didn't like this coach. Yeah, well, you sort it out in a final. <laughs> How good's that? And then Collingwood versus Sandringham. Now, Sandringham and Collingwood are probably the two teams, even though Collingwood have finished fifth with all these injuries to the Magpies, they're probably the two most susceptible teams yep. who are, are, I think, to be fair, injuries at both AFL clubs are probably playing to win a final and, and you know, put a smile on their faces, not go a lot further. But they, I think they're the only two teams in the finals that they could look at each other and say, we, could, we should win that. Absolutely. That's... That's going to be a ripper game because of the injury factor. I'm saying it's a ripper game, but yep. the, the two depleted teams meet each other, which is perfect. It is perfect. With a lot of kids that haven't played a lot this year, the chance to play in a winning finals. Hmm, beautiful. A break, and when we come back, the general manager of Sandy, John Many, will join us.